Is big really better? In business, we celebrate scale. There's a sense that, yes, there are greater efficiencies, more access to resources and materials, and because of reach, maybe even greater impact. But size doesn't always guarantee quality. Small business is the background, backbone of our economy. And small businesses are often viewed as less than because of their size. This was brought home to me a few years ago at a signature business networking event. I started to strike up a conversation with someone who literally looked at my name tag, saw the very creatively named Wanger Group under my name, and literally turned and walked away. And I could tell that her mental calculus was small company named after the founder. Maybe it's someone who just lost their job and is, you know, hanging out a shingle. Can't do anything for me. And unfortunately, that experience is not unique. Just because a company is small doesn't mean that they think small, have a small vision, and that they don't make a huge impact. My firm has deliberately remained small. We are a boutique firm, which is code for small, um, and we've decided to remain that way as a communications and strategic planning consulting firm because we want to provide highly personalized, highly customized solutions for our clients and not the cookie cutter approach that worked for the last client. And despite our size, we have worked with Fortune 500s and large national foundations as well as the tiniest nonprofits. The point is that while big has its place, so does small. Let's not dismiss small business as being less than. What do you think?